another one that will be a huge legacy of Javi's is um, the academic enrichment class that we created. Her, um, myself, and uh, one of the teachers, uh, he's a special education English teacher here, um, we, we found that there was a problem where a lot of the students around <laughs> around this time, <laughs> you know, when third marking period grades come out and you know, oh my goodness, you might not pass for the year and the students are falling behind, there's always that group of students that fall behind for different reasons. So our office was always filled with students that we were trying to help get back on track, get whatever they needed because we didn't want to see any student fail. Um, we just wanted to make sure they succeeded in any way possible. So we would sit with them and, and work with them. And, and we decided that, you know, like, le instead of being more uh, intervention, let's be prevention. So we put together this class called Academic Enrichment, which she came up with the name. She's like, let's, let's elevate it and not make it like study skills or, you know, anything kind of boring. Like she always liked to enhance things and make them a little more creative. And we created this course where we married like uh, two different curriculums that um, that the schools were kind of and the state were kind of pushing for, which is social emotional learning and executive functioning skills. We brought them together, which are all the things that students need in life: um, learning flexibility, learning time management, learning um, creativity, empathy, um, just those simple things in life, just to get through. And um, it it really when brain like i'm just getting flashbacks now of all of us brainstorming together and all the things like she hit like all these amazing points that were like yes we want to include that and and it was just putting it all together and then we're now in our second year of the program the students are thriving they're you know like a part of the class is also work maintenance so they're able to maintain you know like keep up with their work for those students that maybe have a hard time at home completing their work on their own so and then they you know we have a special education teacher that's teaching it and you know can modify it or speak to other teachers to help modify so with that you know like it it just became so much better and all of the insight that she brought into it and and putting it together like that's something that's always going to be hers because you know like it was you know like it was the the three of us bringing about such an amazing thing because we that was one thing we all love to inspire each other like especially the three of us um we love to inspire each other we love to you know like elevate each other to a point where like all right let's do more let's do better and and we kind of got inspired by that a few years ago when the the administration had changed and they you know javi and i um we're part of Bergen County Special Services. We're basically like contracted to be here, but we've been part of the family for such a long time. But um, when when uh, Dr. Sforza and Mr. Bonanno had kind of joined forces, they wanted everyone to kind of feel like a family. And in that, they included us. They, I remember um, at the faculty meeting, they put up this big circle with everyone's name inside of it because they wanted us to see that we were all part of the same family. So with that that's where we got the inspiration you know what they they want us to feel a part of this they want us to do more and and help our students more so let's do that let's do better let's be better for the students for the staff and and for each other 